Hey all, it's Dozy. As promised, a video on privilege escalation. Um, so here I am, I'm logged into this box which is uh, vulnerable and it's going to give us, well there's a vulnerability here which, is, which will enable us to um, escalate our privileges. So we're logged in. So what's the first thing we do? You've got to remember you've got to follow a methodology here. And this is one of the most important things uh, in in ethical hacking uh, and cyber security is always follow a methodology. One, it'll save you time. And then, you, and then, well, the second thing is that as well, well, as well as saving time is something, it's nice to follow a procedure so you know you're not missing anything out. And that's the most important thing because if you miss a step, well, what if there's something there as well? What if that would have saved you time? And this is why it's really important to have a methodology. And, and, and your methodologies, they'll develop as you get more experience. Right? You don't, you know, you're not going to have the bells and whistles to begin with. Right? Um, so, you know, you just take it one day at a time, like I've always said. And today we're going to look at a methodology for privilege escalation this particular thing like they are the ways they, there's other things you might be running but this is, this is the very basics all right so let's start so one of the first things we're going to do is we just want to snoop around see if anything stands out all right so let's just do ls there's nothing there let's just do lsla and there's nothing really there that stands out to us right so we can take this off uh nothing here right fair enough we move on to the second thing let's run the find command Again, from the previous video, which shows the find command. So let's run find. Uh, pam, zero four thousand. You can just do four thousand. Uh, I've just got a habit of doing uh, zero four thousand, and we send uh, any any results that we don't want to dev null, so it doesn't appear on screen. Right. Now this is take back to what I said in the previous video. Some of these will always appear. It's just one of them things, and you've got to get used to something that may stand out here, right? Um, at the moment, there may be nothing here that does stand out. And that's fine. We, for now, we just put nothing here, and we move on to the third one, which is running sudo dash l. Right, okay, let's run sudo dash l. He's asking for the password, uh, which was the, the actual what we logged in with, so that's fine. Right, okay, we've got some information here. This is saying, user may run the following command, which is all on user bin apt get. Now, if you remember from the original video, right, we've made a new best friend. That new best friend is GTFO bins, right? And we're going to check that out. So let's make a note of its apt get. All right. So at least we know. Now let's check out um, GTFO bins. GTFO bins. Agree to that. Malarkey there. Right. And it was apt get. Let's see what we've got here. Let's type in apt get. Brilliant. So the functions available to us is either shell or sudo. Right. Perfect. We've already done sudo dash l, so we know that we can run sudo. So let's click into here and let's just have a read. All right, so we've got shell. It can be used to break our restricted environments by spawning an interactive system shell, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sudo, they're both somewhat similar. So this invokes the default pager, which is likely to be less. Other functions may apply. So we already know we've got sudo on there. So let's try this. So we've got two lines here. So we're going to copy the first line, right? Let's paste this. And as they said, it takes us to a default page, which is perfect. That's just here. Now there's a second line here, which has been sha. Let's copy that. And we need to, let's let's try and enter it here somewhere. Let's press, let's go back to this here. Let's press enter a couple of times. There we go. You see that colon there? Right, let's let's paste that bin share. Let's see what happens. Well, who am I? Well, I'm real. And there you go. You've got privilege escalation just there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is just one example. There's, there's thousands out there and we will we will go through as many as we can. But this is just to get the ball rolling of how GTFO bins works and, you know, how you can escalate privileges. I hope you guys have found this uh, tutorial very useful. Uh, thank you very much for your time.